you know, I studied with the founder of Human Design and worked for Human Design America starting in 1999. And in my experience with traditional human design and in my studies, what I learned from Ra is that the vocabulary of traditional human design was designed to be spoken to what he called the not self. It's language that's specifically designed to awaken people to who they have been conditioned to be. In other words, it's language that's designed to speak to who you are not, because the process of traditional human design in its beginning, in that initiation that you get from traditional human design is to wake you up to remembering who you are based on understanding who you're not. Ra always had the intention of writing what he called an awakened rave I Ching, a new vocabulary of human design that was for the person who was deconditioned, but he passed in 2011 and he never had the chance to do that. Quantum human design is, I believe, that next extension of traditional human design. Now, I won't be egotistical and say, well, I'm, this is Ra's next creation. This is my creation. I created this because I found that especially starting around 2009, 2010, the clients that I started to attract were in a very different place than the clients I was working with in the beginning. They'd already done a lot of work. They'd either done tapping or they'd been to therapy or whatever. They'd done a lot of deconditioning before they even encountered human design. And they were having problems with the language and some of what felt like the heaviness and the rigidity of traditional human design. And, and that's not a slam against traditional human design. I'm just saying sometimes when people have a bigger understanding of who they are and how they are, they want more of a flow with how to use the system of human design. And so I really sat for a long time with the idea of if we redesigned the language and we really started speaking to who is the deconditioned, what is the deconditioned potential of the chart, we really do need a different vocabulary word. We really need to reframe the process of how we create because strategy isn't like, you're not supposed to live your strategy in this very rigid way for the rest of your life. It's kind of like training wheels for the healing process. There's something else that happens when people decondition that allows them to live in greater alignment with their inner truth. And it's not necessarily going to be waiting in the same way that we wait in the beginning, because we develop a deeper relationship with our authentic self and a deeper relationship with cosmic mind and cosmic intelligence working through us. And we're better at that point, once we're deconditioned of following that, and we know what it sounds like, and we know what it feels like, and we know how it resonates in our body when we encounter it. And we don't have to necessarily follow those same healing steps in the beginning that we get with traditional human design. So quantum human design is really sort of the next step beyond traditional human design in terms of supporting your clients in building a narrative that's not about who they're not, that we, as we do in traditional human design, but really helps them explore who are they? Who were they born to be? What was the potential they were born to fulfill? And how do they craft a narrative? How do they take back control over their narrative to such a degree to where they can start consciously constructing for themselves the story of their choosing and use the power of that story to deliberately entrain the heart of who they are to create the manifestation of that story in the physical world. So that's that's a very different way of looking at quantum human design. It's a very it's a very verb based way of looking at human design because you start to define yourself as a verb and not a noun. You're not a label. You're a something that's growing and evolving, and it really speaks to taking that control over that evolutionary process. So 